Mash for joining me for another video. I am excited today to be setting up my vertical classic happy planner and a line vertical. I'm going to show you what I was using for 2021 and what I'm using for 2022 and of course setting it up with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with my Faith Happy Planner. This is a planner that I used for 2021. Um, I think this was an exclusive for, was it Hobby Lobby? Um, and I really, really love this planner. I love the colors. I love the messages, everything, um, the hand lettering, my favorite. And so I was a little disappointed when I didn't see anything like this. Um, in this fall release and so because of that I'm just going to use a planner that I already had this is the line vertical planner from the colorful leopard collection um, and yes it is a 18 month planner so I am going to be removing um, all of these months that already passed but at least I do love the colors I love colorful leopard and um, it is still pretty neutral. So if I wanted to add stickers, I could. I don't really do though, um, but I, I like the colors that um, we see in this planner. So that's gonna work out. Um, let me just show you real quick, compare the two. If you haven't seen a face planner before, um, at least this one um, has this layout, the daily verse, and then the prayers and praises in a separate section. Um, a lot of the planners are the happy, uh, the faith planners are the happy planner releases and release this last, was it fall and this fall? Yeah, the fall release um, had the three sections and I'm not a fan of that. I just like it like this. This is how my brain works. And so um, that's why I, I just was not feeling those planners. So this section is obviously a little bit larger, but it's still, it'll still work. Um, and then everything else is pretty much the same. Let me also, so, okay. Let me talk to you a little bit about how I use my faith pattern. So I do read the Bible each morning. Um, I pick a verse and that's what I write here. Um, and then of course I write about it. Um, I also uh, do devotionals and so that's what I utilize with my planner I do have a video um, where I went through in detail of how I faith plan or like not really faith plan because I'm not planning but how I used it um, and then the monthly section I write one thing that I'm grateful for each morning and then in the front the year at a glance, I use, um, to, I use it to write what chapter or verses I'm reading each day. And so, as you can see, so I will be using those pieces from this new planner. And of course, we're moving into some black metal disc. So what I'm going to start with first is the cover. I am going to be pulling this cover and I'm also debating on using one of the leather or the covers that look like leather um, to have it on top of this and I do have one out so I'll be doing that at the end okay so the first thing we're gonna do is add my black metal disc Super easy. Um, one of the reasons why I love Happy Planner, the disc bound planner system. I love customizing, changing up my planners. That's a must for me. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna start from the back and I'll probably speed up this process just because it's it's obvious what I'm doing, so I don't really need to talk about it.
Okay, so I went ahead and put them on so that I need it in here. And so now um, I really, I like this cover sheet. Um, so we're just going to go with it. And then we are also going to, we're going to glue these together. Yeah, that way when I open it, I can just see the, the mods that I actually need. And then I'll have to figure out what to do with this. Okay. I do know what I'm going to do. I don't know why I said that. So we, I need to go back here. We're going to put pull January. And not I really don't use this. Um, I want to get in the habit of start using it probably like for some intentions for the month. Um, but even even if I was not planning on using it, I would still want to cover this. So I'm just gonna use my double-sided adhesive and cover, well not cover, but like glue together my two sheets. Um, I don't really care about being like super precise with this. Oops. Just want to be careful placing them on top of each other because this tape is not forgiving. It's the permanent one okay so there we go oh, I forgot that I wanted to also I need to tape together these two because I will I won't be needing them to go to the corners and then a little bit in the middle there we go okay now, of course, we need to add our names. Um, I have some names left. These are from Creating with Mandy. I've also used um, Alicia's. And then I do have According to Ali's on its way. Um, but because I'm impatient, I'm just going to use these guys. At least for this planner. I love, love adding these guys um, because, of course, you want your name to look all pretty when you open your planner. Okay, next thing. I do want to remake this, and I, I am. I just have to, like, sit down and actually do it. Um, this is a message that I heard, like, a year ago um, from my church, and I just typed it up. And then I just print it like normal. I do want to kind of upgrade the font a little bit and just maybe do like some illustrations on Canva now that I I know how to use Canva a little better. Um, and then I have a little, um, I added that, that for me kind of, I like reading it each morning. It just gets me, you know, in a good mindset for the day. So I like having that on the front of my uh, planner. The next thing I have, I have a section with notes. I also have this guy. Um, this came in in a set. And I really, I don't remember what it was called. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. 
um, but it's just a dashboard and it comes uh, with these little plastic things for you to place um, like single sheets. And these stickers are from Alicia. Um, I love buying her stickers, as you know. And so I like having these here for whenever I, I wanna add some stickers to my spreads. So I'm gonna put that at the end of my planner. I'm gonna add this here. And then I just have a couple of notes and notes paper that I like adding to the back of my planner. And this is just Happy Planner Filler paper that I got from them about a year ago. So this is the one I'm currently using. Okay, so let's see what we got so far. I do want to add this other cover I have. I used this cover for my 2020 planner. And I'm gonna grab it and add it to this planner. I guess this was, this wasn't, yeah, it was my 20, oh yeah, what am I saying? It's not my 2020 planner. This is a planner I started with the year, um, which are the pages that I was currently using in my vertical. I just have it in a separate uh, set of discs. It's a little dirty. Um, this was actually sitting on my shelf for a little bit. And now we're going to use it again. I love these covers. I feel like it makes your planner just feel more sophisticated, a little more serious. Um, especially, I do take my planner to church uh, most days. And so, it just makes it look a little more, I guess, professional. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to move this out of the way. Here is my 2022 Faith Planner. Again, I'll be missing this beauty, but I do like this. Cover's a little scratched up because I, I do use, I've used it um, in my other planners. Okay, I have this message, my planner cover, where I write all of these chapters that I'm reading. And then I go into our monthly. Again, I use this to write one thing I'm grateful for each day. No stickers, just pen and paper. Um, and then I'll be writing my verse here. And then my application. And I do have some Happy Planner stickers that do have like verse um, and say like application, whatever. So I can add those if I want to actually like write, like title them. But um it is I don't have to use it either. Like it doesn't I don't have to have the sections um labeled. Okay, so there we go. Love it. I don't know what that is. There's like some fluffies there from this leather cover. Okay, so moving on now that we're done with that, and then this I might keep the dividers because they're very, very cute. So I think I'm going to pull the dividers and then um, throw away the pages. I have a planner where I just keep monthly dividers. Okay, so let's talk about our monthly, not monthly, our vertical catch-all. I started the year with um, this planner. This is a Teresa Collins. Um, and I am super proud of myself that I actually use the same planner throughout the entire year. Of course, I changed the disc, I changed the cover, um, but I still, I use the actual pages of the planner. So this is where I start with, this is where I'm at right now. 
And we still have, we're still in Christmas time, so I think I'm gonna keep the cover going. And I'm liking the white disc so far. I think we're gonna add this cover though. I find it so pretty. This is, I don't think it has like a specific color. It's another snap and cover. Yeah, but I don't know the name. So the first thing I need to do is remove a couple of months from here so I can add, I wanna keep, maybe I'll just remove everything but December because of course we're not done with the year yet. And then I'll add the rest of the year if I can fit it. And then I'll show you guys the sections that I have in here. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that first. from this planner and adding it to um, my 2021 planner. I'm just missing December and um, I actually like keeping my planners when I'm done. Um, I try to keep them the whole year together. If not, if it gets too chunky, I do six months, but this one I was able to put in from January and um, while well, I'm missing December, but that will stay in here. And then I added the months from this planner into the planner that I'll be using. It's looking a little chunky. So I don't know if I should maybe do six months. Um, so that way it's, it's um, not this tight. I just noticed that I didn't talk about this planner at all. I actually do not have the cover. I gave the cover to somebody. Um, but this is just a black and white, super neutral planner that I'll be using for 2022. Um, decided that there's there's no color, and so I can get really creative um, when planning out my weeklies here. Not super in love with the dividers, um, but I'll be fine. I do like the currently a lot, so... And I had it. Um, these are actually, I think, my last two happy planners that the happy planners sent me. And so they were free. So why not use them? Okay, so let's talk about my vertical happy planner now that I'm setting up for 2022. This is this was my month of the year, and um I actually got this from according to Ali. I have not decided on a word for their 2022 yet so i'm gonna keep this in here yeah because i don't know this is just a mood board that i created on canva and i really like it so i'm gonna keep it in here i got some sticky notes right here and then this was my goal sheet so i do need to move this one take it off um, and then I 
I think I'm gonna wait um in for my name so I could use um according to Ali's one. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we got the year here. Now let me show you the the extra sections I have in here. Okay. So I have this dashboard to divide. I got some goal setting sheets. Something that I was trying to do this past year um, and I failed at it, but I'm gonna try it again is calligraphy. I do have the inserts from the Happy Planner and I do already have some in here that I can practice with. As you can see, I didn't go too far. I just did one sheet. So something that I want to get back to practicing this new year. Then I have a section for ideas. Um, again, this is my social media planner. Um, and then I do have like some personal stuff in here too. So I got some sheets for that. I do have a month. Sometimes when I do challenges, I like using this or when... Um, I'm trying to think what else I've used it for. Sometimes I've used this for social media planning, like ahead of the game. And then I have some stickers. These are from Alicia. And then I got some according to Ali. These are social media stickers. Um, so I have that here with the other. This is the other dashboard um, that I uh, came with the package that I have in my faith planner. So I have that here. And then I have a folder with these stickers. These are from Sweet Caress and some more social media. So I keep those here and that is it. So the last thing is adding this guy, but I'm actually gonna wait. Um, I like my cover right now for Christmas. So as soon as Christmas, Christmas is over, I'll then go ahead and remove this one and add this snapping soft cover. Okay, guys, so that is it for today. Um, kind of messy over here, but I feel put together now. I'm ready for the new year with my two new planners. And then definitely stay tuned. Um, I'll be doing my setup video for my half letter planner which i'm super excited about i have a lot of new inserts um that i got for 2022 so make sure you stay tuned for that and yeah i really hope you guys like this video and if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and i will see you guys on the next one